Ya kiramu ya ce mu zo. Ya tallafi da so zanga zanga. Ya ya mana da so zanga zanga. Da ce miki ta zo shi da yaya. Tun da asuba ka zo ka zuba mu. Ba ruwa, ba abinci, direbobi ba kudin mota. Mu kuma abin da aka mu an ba ma wala kance. Ga maza, ga mata mu, mu ba an ba mu. To mu ya san nan mulki. Najeriya ba mu da shugaban kasa. Najeriya ba mu da wani kowa. Sometimes I wonder how some people actually think and react to certain things that happens within their vicinity. Now we all know that there's hunger in this country and everybody is striving hard to survive. Definitely we all are passing through it. Even if you are rich or you poor, definitely you will have one way or the other which this will definitely pinch you in the flesh. So now this woman now saying all these things. Now let me just summarize what she was saying in Aosa. Now, she was saying that um, they paid her. We don't know how true it is because it was not. It has not been verified. If truly she was really paid to come and cause havoc in Abuja, and yeah, she come. She came from her own state, and they brought her to. They brought them rather because it's not only her. You can see from the video that there are different people that they brought there. And this woman, she speaks Aosa, you know, Aosa language. Now and. They brought her to do an anti-protest in Abuja where you know that this thing you are trying to put yourself into is something that might take your life, that might put you under risks. This is what is even making me angry right now. And the amount you are being told that you are, you are going to be paid is 5,000 Naira. Can you imagine? 5,000 Naira to cause an anti-protest uh, anti that you, you try to come and do which does you even not even succeed. Like people really need to sit down and, and realize that there are some things that people are going to tell you that you don't even need to, to follow what they are saying. You just have to keep calm and believe that what you ever the decision of the government is will definitely favor you and not for you to go out there that you want to do an anti-protest. What about if you don't come back home? What will happen to your family? Your family will be the one to pay all the all the consequences because they will be the one to be looking for how they are going to bury you, look for how to, all the costs, all the expenses will be on their head. Please and please, you need to share this video. Share this video so that people will be able to see this also, and also drop a comment in the comment section. Let me know what you think about this particular one. So thank you and bye.